Hi guys, welcome to episode one of Morning Motivations. Uh, I'm currently recording outside, so there might be some noise. Um, Now this episode is going to be about how to make the best of your quarantine. Now I've been making the best of my quarantine by taking time to think and pursue clarity. Uh, By this, I mean go outside, go take a walk in your neighborhood, go in your backyard and just lie down. Just really take some peace with nature, become one with nature, and start thinking wherever your mind leads you. Yeah, for example, I did this just a little bit ago. I started thinking about the flowers in my backyard. Uh, Just recently, I found this beautiful hydrangea tree that I didn't even know we had. And I started thinking about the form of hydrangeas and why they're formed in such little clusters instead of wild and free like other flowers. I still don't understand it, but it's made me contemplate other parts of life, like why people are the way they are, different people. Um, People are different for many reasons, their upbringing, what they've experienced in life, and what they were taught to do. Um, There's so many different kinds of people, and they're all so fascinating to learn about, which leads me to another thing you can do. Learn about other people, watch YouTube videos of other people doing whatever they please, and just observe it. Just look at it, laugh at it, observe it, make your observations, list them down. It's quite fun actually. For example, I went on YouTube the other day and I watched PewDiePie and Emma Chamberlain, Mimulus and Wilney, and I just observed them and their personalities and their mannerisms. And it was quite fun and very relaxing. I had a lot of fun with it. It was a good time. Um, And it was, now I made a little journal just for this, just for my thoughts from the first and the second exercise. And my journal, it's really provided me with clarity and purpose. And it's also helped me learn more about myself, which I believe is a great thing for everyone to do during this time. The next thing, that I do, and that would be a great idea as well, is to work out, get some fitness, go on a run, go on a walk, do some squats, do some push-ups, because those increase your endorphins and your serotonin, which make you happier, scientifically proven. Um, It's very helpful whenever you're feeling down. For example, when you wake up, if you don't want to get out of bed, get out of bed, do some squats, do some sit-ups, do some push-ups, whichever one of those you feel that you can do. Don't do too many though. You don't want to push yourself early in the morning. Early in the morning is when you adjust to the day. Because at night, you were dreaming about your beautiful dreams, or maybe you weren't dreaming. Which segues me to my next idea. You need to sleep more. (laughs) That may sound stupid, but Trust me, it's an amazing idea. For example, when we were in the school year, I was super sleep deprived. I barely slept and my dreams were all nightmares. I just didn't feel good. And now I'm using this quarantine to sleep more. And it's helped me a lot. I'm a much happier and way more productive person. For example, I'm doing this podcast. It's really helped me a lot. I've gotten a ton of work done. It's been very helpful. I've been reading more about the medical field because that's the career I would like to choose in life. And I find it very, very helpful and just relaxing because now in my dreams, I started working on lucid dreaming. So now in my dreams, I have this whole alternate dream reality where I have this house. It's on the edge of a hill. Uh, Try and picture this with me. Close your eyes and picture this with me. It's a house on the edge of the hill. It's a... It's a large mansion. It's kind of shaped like the Taj Mahal, you could say. It's white, the most pristine, clean thing you've ever seen. There's a beautiful garden in front of it and a natural archway made from hedges that you walk through or drive through. Depends what you're taking there. Uh, you walk in and it's, it's very futuristic. Uh, the first thing you see is the staircase. It's in the middle. It's very, hmm, it's large, and it's black, and then on the sides of it are 
two uh two vases but they're large vases very tall ones and once you walk up the stairs there's a room in front of you and that's sort of a room that's like very soothing it's like a relaxation room i guess you could call it it has a couch it has a tv it has it has aroma smell releases in it not quite candles but those those um automated ones that just release scent uh, i don't know what those are called but it has those it has a desk but the desk is super far away because that's my relaxation time the desk is like the other half of the room this is a very big room by the way and it's there for working and productivity but that desk is kind of blocked out from everything else which i think is showing me uh compartmentalization compartmentalization is super helpful you put your work to one side of your brain and your and all your freedom and relaxation thoughts to the other side of your brain um and that's super helpful and facilitating uh now this has helped me a lot because it's helped me get more work done and be less stressed about it because the stress is really holding me back. Some people say it's a use of adrenaline for them to get their work done, and that may be true. That's true for some people I know, but for me, it just holds me back cuz I start thinking about it too much and then I just don't do it at all. And that's not good. So what I do is after after I do my daily squats in the morning as soon as I wake up, I go and I do my work. And then after I do my work, I do an actual workout. And then after my actual workout, I just come outside and I think and I breathe and I meditate and it's a peaceful, it's a very peaceful time. I like playing with the flowers and the leaves as well. It helps me become one with nature. It's also helped me get over my fears of nature. <laughs> For example, I had a fear of birds and now there's this little birdie that I just that just comes and flies by me every day and we're homies <laughs> we're friends now i may sound crazy but you can actually be friends with nature and it's truly it's a wonderful experience you have m- so much clarity so much purpose and you just feel better about your life there's no missing hole that i'm sure a lot of people feel that they have I know that I feel missing sometimes. I feel lost. And doing these things that I just talked about helps me so much and I hope they can help you as well. Um Now, what I want you to do after listening to this, I want you to go play your favorite song at the moment and I want you to just lie down. Lie down anywhere. Lie down on your bed, lie down on the floor, lie down and just Let your mind wander. Close your eyes and let your mind wander. And then whatever it wanders to, you just think about that. Why did it wander there? What does that say about me? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Do I need to change it? Do I not need to change it? Should I keep my mindset there? And then write it down in a journal and go take a nap. Thank you. This is the first episode of Morning Motivationals and I hope you enjoyed it.